Alright guys, this is going to be a Wonder K Nightfall solo. For those that just want to see the run, then skip to the time on the screen. The rest of you are showing my weapons, card setup, uh, and subclass. First thing I'll say is about the light level on the card. So I'm 696 going into it. So that means I adjust the scorecard to make me 540 light. Since the Nightfalls are 540 light, what I'm advising people is just adjust your level so that you are 540 light. So 156 makes me 540 if you are 10 levels below me then drop the card 10 if you're 20 levels below me drop it another 20 just adjust it to your, your light basically and if you are 650 light you can still solo the 100k nightfall as well it's just going to be a lot harder for you than what it would be somebody who's my light but it's still doable i've done it myself um it just means that you would need to have match game on there and you'd have to sort it all out and plan it you can't just go in there and do it you'd have to plan the run but this video is aimed more at people who are actually leveling and playing the dlc yeah so we have arc singe on there extinguish and momentum i don't even have a modifier on the last last section reason for this is that in the last season it used to be that people would run you know heavyweight more, more so heavyweight than these other two you'd run heavyweight and then you'd run two negatives with it if you do that at a lower level you're going to be like a 2.8 2.9 and it's not quite enough sometimes on some nightfalls a three times card is usually what's needed i mean every nightfall is different okay there's different ad amount of ads different runs and stuff and different rotations but don't be using a heavyweight brawler or grenade either until you're 700 light then you can start putting them on the card before that, you don't want to be putting them on. You want to be running at least a singe uh, and two or three negatives. I only ran two. It's unnecessary. I mean, I'm nearly a four times card and I'm not going for 150 plus. I'm not going for 200 plus. This is just a, this is just a video of, uh, for tips for people. That's it. So, yeah, that, that, that's the only reason why I had sort of set up on. As for my weapons, I was using Blast Furnace, your turn. And the uh, new Gambit weapon, the new Pinnacle weapon, the 21% Delirium, which um, it is good on bosses, but it's more of a, it's more of, it's more for ads. It is, it is good on a boss, don't get me wrong, but I think it's more for ads, to be honest. Uh, as for our subclass, we are using Striker Titan, Top Tree, Double Pulse Grenade, Rally Barricade, Straight Lift, and I'm pairing it with Insmartable Skull 4. It's just so good it'll um one shot orange bars which is really valuable saves on ammo stuff like that so the rest of the armor none of it was um optimized in any way i hear people saying that you need builds in destiny 2 you don't need builds in destiny 2 there's not enough challenging content in the game for build you don't i never optimize my, my character i mean if there was some if there was an activity that required you to have the perfect build if there was an activity in the game where it said right no exotics are allowed then builds um then building your character and all the perks would be worth the time but you really don't need it the only perks that i really go for is things like um scavenger perks for rocket launchers or machine guns you really don't need builds there's not there's no challenging content in the game for it um so but like I said, I only ever base my nightfalls around A in exotic. Uh, what heavy I'm using. And that's about it. The rest of it's just how you're playing. No need to optimize, oh, what's my gauntlet got? What's my chest piece? You know, little things will help. But overall, it's how you set the card up and how you play. As for the, um, the loot that you're going to get from the arms dealer, it's just a sparrow. So not probably worth farming for but this is was to be honest i just wanted to do arms dealer because we sit i'm sick of the other nightfalls coming up the ones that are reoccurring like well the thousands it's been up several times within the last couple of weeks strange terrain it's been up three or four times easy so any new nightfall that comes up i'm just desperate to play that so that's why i'm doing arms dealer 
But anyways, that was the setup. I told me the run. So if you see Cabal already spawned in as you spawn in, it means that you have got the Cabal versus Fallen rotation. If the Cabal are kind of jumping in as you are, but there's no Fallen, then obviously just Cabal. This rotation that I have is worth more score, but it's harder uh, since the Fallen Captains can be a pain and stuff. Um, if you just if you end up getting the Cabal rotation, it's still fine though. There's still plenty of score that you can get from it. There's, there's not a big difference in it. Um, probably better if you do get the Cabal one. It, it means that you're not wasting as much heavy and stuff like that. That's the first room. Pretty much simple. Not, not a lot to that. But if you add on my rotation, the first set of Fallen Captains will spawn out from the door. I'm nading right now. You want to you want to have a grenade and some heavy for that door. Take down the captain as soon as you can. If you don't, they will teleport a lot and they'll be a pain to take out. Just a good way to kind of spawn kill them. Right now, we're just making sure that we have momentum proc as much as we can so we don't die while getting kills. At this point, we're kind of farming for our pulls. Then pulls middle where most of the ads are. We're also kind of waiting as well. I'm watching my um, where it says objective nightfall fight through. We're wanting to, we're waiting to see when that changes because when that when that changes, that's when the next part of the fight starts. And it's the door to just behind me now. So you see how it changed there? That means the next sequence of fallen are coming out again. Same here, you want to try and spawn kill these captains because they, they can be a pain. Good way to spawn kill them. Once they're dead, then you just need to kill a couple more adds. Usually there's an orange bar in major, uh, an orange bar in middle or something that required to kill to get the ball up. Once the ball comes up, if you've got like 25, 30k, you can you can move on. But you could certainly you could certainly get at least 50, maybe even 60k from that intro. So there's a lot of score in this one, definitely. So with this part, we're just going to dunk the ball, and we're going to go to the back of the room. You don't need to kill any of these ads. I'm just doing that. My pulse ned. Um, the only requirement in this section is that we kill uh, the major, the yellow bar. You don't need to kill the orange bars around him, but it's just beneficial as they uh, kind of huddle around him. Same with this room, you can totally skip this as well. Even if you are a lower light, say you are 670 and you're doing it on that sort of handicap, you could still skip the things that I did since when you get to the boss there is a lot of ads. That spawn up. Um, so it's still always beneficial to kind of get to the boss in a timely fashion. If you were getting to the boss uh, more than 10 minutes, probably too long. Depending on you, depending depending on what you do. And if you're one phase in the boss, then maybe not. But if you're not one phase in the boss and you plan to kill a lot of ads there, you want to get there for 10 minutes at least. Since the mechanic, of course, is that when you get to 15 minutes. Your score multiplayer halves. You also lose score over time. So you're fighting against that. Not only that, when it gets 18 minutes, you lose score entirely. You get you get no points. So it's okay you're getting you know your 100k. If you're not at the boss in a timely fashion, you may end up losing it. So in this room, uh, here we're just skipping this. We're going to get the two scannables and we're going to go to the final tank. Only two things in this room need to be killed. It's the tank and the Cabal Major. That's it. It's a good place to damage the tank from here. Um, if you have a nade, then nade the tank. And I decided to use Delirium just to see what it is like for damage, which it isn't bad at all. Then we go for Super, as they know the uh, Cabal Major is about to spawn. Finish him off as well. On 
once that's done, the door will open and there'll be a couple of uh, dogs in here. You can either generate a load of orbs off them with your masterwork weapon, or I just decided to go for pulse nade energy instead. Plus it's quicker. As you can see, we're 50, 50k plus, only 5 minutes in, so you can definitely still get 100k even if you're skipping more than half of the uh, all night fall. Same with this room, uh, like I said earlier, the rotations of the nightfall change, so it could be Cabal, it could be just Cabal, it could be Cabal vs Fallen. I get Cabal vs Fallen, I had it uh, all the way throughout the nightfall actually. It was kind of unlucky in one way, but, but it is slightly more score. So with this room, a lot of people play it from the back. I don't, I go past the boss and everything. As the requirement to get the boss over here is just to kill his turrets, which you can kill them at range. Then you can spawn kill the yards to my left. Um, of course, you have solar shield, so your turn takes them out pretty good. See, that then makes it so that you're in a safe area, you can fight the yards safely at this section. Once those turrets are down, it's kind of going to start the next phase, which for me is a bunch of vandals. Just go around shoulder charging them all. You, you ideally want to kill these fallen though, as they can be a pain. Um, plus I've got arc singes on the card, so they are kind of dangerous. So once we activate that um, switch there, in like 10 seconds after that, we get 4 to 5 uh, Cabal good to kind of spawn kill them as well um, but they are required to be killed if you don't kill them the lift itself won't lift okay so with the boss fight um, we're doing an old strat that was mainly used in vanilla uh, vanilla year one of d2 where we basically get more DPS out of the boss by um, damaging him so much. Right now I'm just farming my pulse nade off these turrets. Um, but what we're going to do once we kill all the turrets, we're going to get the boss's HP, the first part of his HP, uh, around about halfway or just below that. Stand around about here, he'll just continually try to snipe you but he can't get you, it's a good place to stand. Just keep edging him down. Once we get him down to around about the right level, uh, we're then going to do damage, like actual damage. This just speeds up the whole fight, it means, with what we're doing right now, it means that he's going to skip a tower, which is good. It, it means that we're not going to have to dunk two balls, it'll only be one, uh, which saves time and stuff. Right now I'm positioning the boss in a specific place and you have to come here to do it, you want him to stand there. So do a barricade, and I'm going to double pulse him, and then I'm just going to use delirium, as I want to, I'm curious to see what it's like, the damage. Which it's not too bad, of course we're handicapped, heavyweight ain't on, so if heavyweight was on obviously it would wreck him, even more. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can, and then there'll be add spawn on my left, I'm going to go away from them as quick as I can. Right now I'm kind of waiting for the boss. I had a super to use, uh, and I wanted to get more damage into him. I could have saved my super for the ads instead, uh, but since I've got Skull for on, I don't really need to. And that just kind of um, gets him really, really low. So now, you're going to have all the ads uh, spawn at once. All the rotations of e at each phase, they're going to spawn, spawn all at once, and all the dogs as well, which is a lot of dogs that spawn in. That's why I'm saying it's always good to be at the boss in a good time, since there's a lot of points to be earned while we're here. If the, um, the what you call it, if that ship is bothering you, three your tons will kill him if you can hit them, that is. Um, 
you can from a distance just take out that ship with whatever weapon if it is been a, an issue for you. That's another reason why I, I had your turn on is there's uh, a couple of solar shields to deal with and it one shots them as well. Plus the perk that it has where it disorientates the uh, enemies if a solar shield is uh, burst which is really good. It's important to kill these turrets as the boss is going to come to middle on the final phase. If you're trying to, you know, finish the boss off and the turret's eating you, that's not good. Right now what I'm doing really is just finishing off all the ads possible. I'm looking at my score of course, uh, as I wasn't sure how much more I needed to kill. I've got nearly 90k. We'll go for the dunk. That's going to spawn in a couple of set of uh, more ads. A couple of, of them are mages. Well, it's good before you dunk the ball to take down um, specifically one of the mages as he can kill you while you're dunking the ball. The rest of the cabal he's okay, but specifically him you should take, take down. So once we dunk the ball, that um, initiates the last phase. You're going to get snipers spawning uh, and stuff like that, so it can be quite dangerous. I had a lot of machine gun ammo, so I figured I would use a lot of that. Didn't want to kill the boss just yet, as I didn't know how much score I would get off him, so... I'm running around getting as many kills as I can. Like you can see, there's a lot of snipers spawning, so this is kind of a dangerous moment. Plus my server as well. That's why momentum's key. That's why you have, if you didn't have momentum on the card, this would be a lot harder on that on that final phase. Now I just decided to uh, mow the boss down, as I knew would get the 100k. That's a, that's basically like a guide if you like, just on tips. I know I was on a Titan and not everybody plays Titan, but if you're a Warlock, uh, it might, might be even easier. Just put on the uh, Skull of Amkara. If you're a Hunter, Orpheus Riggs, Shards of Galanor, even G Wisdom Twist, something like that. Just use an exotic that puffs your super and you, you're good to go on these Nightfalls. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.